In the Piscean Age, it was common belief among Christ-inspired doctrines that when one died, that person's soul essence would leave the material plane. If the person had been virtuous in life, then the soul would ascend to heaven. If the person had been sinful, then hell would await them. Dissatisfaction with the black and white concepts of sinfulness and sainthood, and the difficulty in determining where the line was drawn, provoked alternative suggestions of where the consciousness departs once a person's life was over. Some have reverted to ancient Germanian religion, while others look towards Eastern philosophy for alternatives. Based on the testimony of those who had experienced near-death experiences, it was hypothesized that the consciousness enters first a plane of positive energy, where the good achievements of the life past were reflected upon and lessons taken away from these events. After, the soul enters a dark plane of negative energy, where the disappointments and frustrations were worked through and lessons learned from these were also taken away. Having grown thus, the soul re-merges with the universe, where it may be reincarnated into another life to continue the lessons it had learned in previous lives. It was believed that one only died because that person had learned everything they needed to learn from this life. One's death always has meaning, even if it is not apparent to those who that person leaves behind. Therefore, one should not always grieve for one's lost potential, but instead gain solace from the fruitfulness of that person's life, and to reflect upon the events which had helped shape that person. Know that the person's death is not meaningless no matter how cruel it may seem. With the gift of perspective comes solace and soothing. Those persons who contained old souls had moved towards a balance between positive and negative karma. The oldest and wisest of these souls would eventually ascend to a state resembling divinity. They were one with the universe, while at the same time able to guide and teach others on the material plane. They are known as Ascended Masters. To see your place in the universe, to know that you yourself are not just a moat against many, but a union of brothers and sisters working together for common good, that is when you have ascended. You are enlightened. Though these ascended masters are few, given enough time, their numbers will grow until we as an entire race have risen to enlightenment. After 5,000 years of recorded wars, atrocities, and injustice, I believe it is soon time for our racial consciousness to rise above our petty differences, and in the spirit of Ubuntu, realize that what makes us human binds us together. After the age of spirituality came the age of reason. After realizing that neither reason nor spirituality alone could guide us, we now combine reason and spirituality into a new way of thinking. We will exist in rational faith and in faithful rationality in a new age of enlightenment. This is it, everyone. We've just had the go-ahead from command to evacuate the system. Captain Bay is overseeing the exodus from the GTCV Arifio until the Aquitaine and the rest of the Third Fleet arrive from Gamma Draconis. Ensign Bay, you'll be taking Ensign Sato and Omar to the Vega Jump Node. You'll be escorting an evacuation transport carrying refugees from Sophia Station, a civilian hub in this system. 
Her destination is the Vega Jump Node. We've had reports of Shivan incursions into this system from Gamma Draconis, so we need you to be on your guard and make sure the transport makes it to the node safely. Remember, pilots, these are civilians. They're not trained for military encounters and don't react well to battle. I need you to maintain extra diligence and attention while you're out there and make sure nothing goes wrong. Ready? Good. Suit up. You leave in five. <laughs>